They're all in. Two and a half miles, just you, but first out of the stalls. Flies out on the outside, jumps really well as they race through the first furlong. Scaramanga towards the inside is holding his position with Surrey Gold. Pushima crosses behind the field as they settle down in the early stages. So Surrey Gold and also moving forward, the blue cap of Golden Flame. And it's Golden Flame who has the early lead. Stable companion tribal art and martial plan in the blue with just Hubert out wider. Surrey Golden Scaramanga just tracked the leaders early on. Bring on the night is just behind the speed in company with Rock Eagle in the purple and blue. Coltrane in the hoops with the noseband, white and red. On the inside is Make My Day, as up on the outside, Protected Guest is the horse that's making ground in white and blue. The Max We Can from Proshima, Rashoon last year's winner, is well back on the outside of Pied Piper. Arcadian Sunrise, who was the market mover during the course of the last few days, was just rousted along for a few strides. He's last of all in the pink colours with the noseband, uh, racing on the outside this stage of Lidford. So getting now into their formation as they make their way up the straight, there's still a long way to go. Just Hubert in the yellow colours has the lead from Golden Flame with Marshall Plan in blue racing in third. Scaramanga is fourth with Protected Guest racing in fifth place just ahead of Tribal Art. He didn't do Surrey Gold any great favours there. He was a little short of room. Coltrane races in about a seventh place at this stage with Rock Eagle towards the outside in eighth. The max we can on the outside of Make My Day. Bring on the night midfield in the check colours of yellow and black just ahead of Moon King Pied Piper on the rails in red and white. Proshima Rashoon in the grey jacket on the outside of Going Gone. And Arcadian Sunrise and Just Hubert has found a new trick. His trick is to run off on the bend and having consented to race and gone forward, he feels that after half a mile he's done enough. And Just Hubert is heading for car park one at the moment and he might find a picnic but I don't think he'll find the winning post in front as out in the lead it is Golden Flame. Golden Flame then handed the lead by Just Hubert, who has got back in touch with the field, but has gone from first to last in the space of a couple of furlongs. So Golden Flame with Marshall Plan in the blue colours, and up on the outside, Protected Guest. Scaramanga racing in fourth place in the check colours as they begin to run downhill. Rock Eagle comes next with Surrey Gold, uh, then Bring On The Knight, who's racing about seventh or eighth for Ryan Moore on the inside of Make My Day, trained by Ryan's dad, and then the Max We Can with Proshima, Pied Piper, a little bit of a shuffle up as they just cross the rise there with Going Gone, and still towards the back is Lidford as they make their way downhill. So we're now entering the final mile of the contest and out in the lead, Golden Flame still shows the way. Well bunched field with Marshall Plan, Protected Guest and Scaramanga filling second, third and fourth. Rock Eagle, caught on heels there, gave Surrey Gold a bump. Surrey Gold hasn't had a lot of luck, actually, in this race so far. Coltrane's up the running rails with Bring On The Night and The Max We Can as the pace just steadies at the foot of the hill. Make My Day, Pied Piper, Proshima comes next from Moon King going gone on the rails. Arcadian Sunrise has now got past round about three of them. They include Rashoon Lidford and Just Hubert, who's back in touch with the field, but surely has compromised his chances. A nearly 15-second furlong there, as out in front of the wily Joe Fanning now just begins to extend on, has the lead from Go Golden Flame from Marshall Plan, Scaramanga and Protected Guest. Coltrane still lobbing along with Tribal Arts, they've never been too far away, likewise Rock Eagle. Ryan Moore just beginning to try to angle off the rails, bring on the night in the check colours for the first time, leaves the fence on the outside of Coltrane. Surrey Gold furiously ridden amongst horses, Proshima's creeping closer, so's the max we can, there's going to be needing luck for a few, Pied Piper, Arcadian Sunrise trying to circle the field now, as they continue their progress, the worst of the climb behind Behind them and begin to swing for home in the Ascot Stakes. Out in the lead, Golden Flame, protected guest in second place. Then Rock Eagle round the outside, Scaramanga Tribal Art. Marshall Plans dropping back very quickly, causing traffic problems for a few. Coltrane then bring on the night as they make the corner. The max we can, Tribal Art travelling strongly just behind the leaders as they straighten. And now out in front, heading for home, it's still Golden Flame. Try to hold off Rock Eagle, Tribal Art, Coltrane switches out. The max we can, bring on the night. No luck for Pie Piper, who's had to change course markedly. Arcadian Sunrise right round the outside trying to stay on it's Coltrane who's hit the front. Bring on the night for Willie Mullins. Arcadian Sunrise and going gone down the outside. Inside the last it's Coltrane bearing down the leader. Bring on the night. Arcadian Sunrise still stays on with going on. A real battle on the inside. Coltrane bring on the night. Coltrane is finding more. And Coltrane for Callum Hutchinson. A famous success for him and Andrew Balding. Saw off bring on the night. Arcadian Sunrise going gone. Pipe Pipe who got very little up pursued made late ground to eventually finish in round about sixth place ahead of Lidford another to stay on through beaten horses fair play to Coltrane because out in time was bring on the night and Callum Hutchinson the son of Wayne Hutchinson who's ridden plenty of winners round here over jumps had time to salute the crowd as he rides his first Royal Ascot winner in the Ascot
stakes for Andrew Balding. Coltrane beating, bring on the night. Arcadian Sunrise just ages to warm up. I think it's going gone who's fourth. Rashoon and Pied Piper, when you watch it back, I think Pied Piper was the unlucky one. He, everything fell in his lap a furlong and a half to go. Coltrane, Mick and Janice Mariscotti, they tasted success at their local Epsom. Today it's Callum Hutchinson, Day on the Sun, on Coltrane. And he was a brave second in the Chester Cup. And on the straight here, Haley, it turns into this two-way go. Now he gets the gap, Coltrane, but here comes the Mullins horse in the Donnelly colours. And this is quite a battle. It is, and um, Callum's done a really good job just to keep him going. You know, he's not gone overboard with his whip, he's, he's changed his hands, he's grabbed him together, and he's got another run out of him. I, I think the horse challenging him has just, you know, got him to put his head down and, and actually wouldn't, wouldn't going away in the end. And it's so nice to see that is his first winner. He works really hard at Andrews. Um, you know, he's super with his, his apprentices and he's another up and coming star. And his dad, Wayne, who wrote so many winners for Alan King, a good lad. Imagine a big football fan like his dad. Huge moment for him because the big gun on his right for Mullins, who's dominated. Then Arcadian Sunrise in the, in the red cap on the far right. Pied Piper's been a bit unlucky, as Richard said. But a huge and emotional moment for the young man, Jason. Yeah, he's, he's in that batch of young riders that the Balding Academy seem to have every year. And, you know, he's he's kept his nose down. He's worked incredibly hard. He's obviously got some really, really good mechanics, the way that he holds himself on horseback. And this was not easy because on the way round, he just was on and off the bridle and he had to, to be really, really patient.